A land dispute between a North Idaho couple and the EPA will soon go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Mike and Chantel Sackett, they bought a piece of land in 2005, hoping to build a home. The half-acre parcel is located on the west side of Priest Lake. KXY 4's Ian Cole explains why the EPA ordered them to stop building and what's next with this Supreme Court case. The six-tenths of an acre was purchased by the Sacketts in North Idaho. They obtained a building permit. They even put fill in. But then when they tried to start building, the EPA stopped them and threatened them with a $37,000 a day fine, saying that this is a wetland. I thought it was somebody pulling a joke. It's like, no, that can't be real. And, but no, it was. Mike and Chantel Sackett were shocked when construction to build their dream home was shut down. The Sacketts purchased the land for $23,000, and the property is surrounded by several other homes. I mean, there's a sewer hookup to this piece of property. If there was, I mean, why would there be a sewer hookup if it's not a buildable lot? The couple says the EPA claimed they were violating the Clean Water Act and could build on the property only after purchasing a $200,000 wetland building permit. Chantel Sackett says since they did not remove the fill and restore the land, they've racked up $40 million in fines since 2007. The Sacketts say the fight isn't about the land anymore, it's about principle and setting a precedent across the country. That is our biggest thing right now, that's what keeps feeding us. Is it's not so much about us, it's about everybody else and what the government does. The Sackett's lawyer filed his opening argument to the Supreme Court for the justices to view before the hearing. The United States opening argument is due by Thanksgiving. This is not a question of people who are trying to skirt around the law. These are people who are trying to do everything right. And they thought they were doing everything right. The EPA and Department of Justice told us today its lawyers will not make a comment on the case, saying it is pending litigation. Uh, the Sackett's case is expected to be heard in front of the Supreme Court in January, but even if they win, it could be one to two years before they're actually able to build on this land. In North Idaho, Ian Cole, KXOY4 HD News.